Hi everyone! So I wanted to do a three month update on the boobies um, and the reason why is something made me stumble upon the old videos that I did and a lot of people were sending me messages saying how helpful they were and I remember when I was looking um, the biggest thing I wanted to see and I couldn't see on anyone's channel was what the boobs looked like um, three months after once they dropped. No one had that. Everyone had up to like three weeks. Uh, maybe six weeks and they still looked very fake and full on top and they looked hard um, and so I wanted to make this video for those that are really interested but not yet like kind of wanting to know out of curiosity what happens at three months um, so first thing I'm working out normal um, there are some times that you feel you know shifting around with certain workouts usually upper body workouts never um, lower body workouts. I'd say the things I'm having a struggle with are leg raises when I have to plant my arms down. You feel it a little, you gotta move around and adjust. Um, I don't do chest. I get this question a lot. I don't do chest. I never did it before. Maybe I did it once or twice just out of curiosity. But I never really worked chest. So giving up chest for me, not a big deal. I'm perfectly fine with it. Um, the other odd thing is push-ups, which I tried a long time ago, maybe not even that long, three or four weeks ago. I didn't feel comfortable, so I didn't do that. Um, but everything else is fine. You feel pretty much normal at this point. Um, something I've noticed doesn't mean you're going to notice it around this time. Sensitivity. I feel a lot of nipple sensitivity, um, and then underneath as well. Um, it kind of at times feels like a bruise and then sometimes you don't feel it at all. This is completely normal. It's your nerves awakening um, and it should subside. I look forward to that because I really don't like the sensitivity. That's really the only thing I can complain about at this point. Um, let's see, I wrote a list just, just to not forget. Um, they have softened a lot so now they're much more movable. <laughs> I guess you can say you squeeze them. Um, the hubby has complimented me on them, saying that they are very soft. So that's something to look forward to around, uh, th well, that happens before three months, but that's when you start to notice how soft they get. Um, another thing, at this point, I no longer have to strap them, like I showed you in the other video. Um, I don't have to wear anything specific. All I'm doing is um, putting treatment on the scars for them to fade. It's a silicone um, based scar treatment. They provided it. That's another thing I like about this um, office. They pretty much provide everything. They provide the bra I had to wear. They provide the straps. They provide the tape I needed to tape my breasts with and they provide the scar treatment. Um, super cool. Anyways, moving forward. So a quick tip I wanted to give you guys, um, I, when I was talking about the strapping my breasts down, I really hated the bands that they gave me. It aggravated my armpits and I wouldn't last with them. I'd probably take them off around 2 in the morning and I was supposed to sleep all night with them, but it hurt so much. So something I discovered was a very tight sports bra. This is an extra small sports bra. And what I would do is I would just wear it over my breast just in the just in the top where it was full and it would push them down this actually pushed them down way more than the band so it's a little bit more aggressive um, however it's more comfortable so I lasted the whole night with it um, and I feel like it progressed the best after I wore this um, I saw changes almost daily like I would look in the mirror and I'm like oh they already look like they dropped more um, so this was a nice tip and when I shared it with the doctor he thought it was a great idea um, and quite clever. I'll give myself credit for that. Um, so yeah, this is a pretty cool tip if you don't like the band or if you haven't gotten them done yet and you remember this. Another thing I wanted to talk about was my cup or the size I went with because everyone keeps asking, even though I told you guys in the previous video, I went with 530 cc's. Um, in the previous video I explained exactly why I went with that size. I never thought I would go with that size. Even after I chose that size I was like, whoa, this sounds like huge. Um, but I explained why in the previous video I chose that size and why the size really doesn't matter when it comes to your body type. Um, so I would very much urge you to watch that video if you're thinking about sizing or confused about it or just curious. <laughs> Another thing I've noticed, I kept saying that I'm a C cup. <clears throat> 
and that's what I thought it would end up being. Even the doctor, when he saw them, he, he told me that um, I look like a C cup. But I am not a C cup. <laughs> Turns out I'm a 34D. If I wear a C cup, it cut, it like cuts them in half and it looks horrible in a shirt. Um, and I can wear a sister size 36C, which is easier to find, believe it or not, than a 34D. <laughs> um, which just means that the straps uh, are a little bit looser, and that's fine. I'm not really crazy about that. It's okay. Um, so they're bigger than what I thought they were going to be. However, a cool, I think it's cool because I'm not trying to get attention with, like everyday life. Um, a cool thing is they look smaller when you're wearing shirts and when you take your shirt off, the boom. <laughs> so, um, that's a nice perk. Um, you don't have to draw too much attention if you're afraid of that and you're doing it more for you because you know, it'll make you feel more comfortable or you want to do it for your spouse. Um, that is kind of a cool perk. I'm not saying all the time because there are some things that make your boobs look huge and some things that make them look small. Like I wear a sports bra and my husband's like, they look so small. And then I put on this swimsuit, for instance, and he's like, they look so big. <laughs> um, so I guess it all depends what you're wearing, which this one is kind of making them look much bigger than they really are. Um, I don't know if it's just the push up it's giving them possibly <laughs> um, but they don't look this big in everything uh, it depends what you're wearing uh, let's see if I missed anything full motion I can everyone has the biggest um, did I shave <laughs> I need to uh, it's not horrible but as I looked at my arms there's a mirror there and I was like oh maybe I need to shave I'm blind too so it doesn't help um, from far away I can't see very well um, full motion has returned um, Nothing feels strange there, although I did work on flexibility a lot afterwards. My husband helped me with that. He would stretch my arms, pull them back for me. Um, we did a whole bunch of stretches, so I think that that loosened me up. The more you stretch, the faster you get rid of that like stiffness that you feel where you like can't move your arms, can't do much. Um, so that goes away. Anything else that I can tell you guys? All I can say is at this point you're going to start liking your boobs. <laughs> In the beginning you may not like them, you may doubt it. I had a lot of like, hmm, did I do the right thing? They look kind of silly. Um, but that's when they're like completely stuck to you and high and painful. And then once all that passes you're like, oh, they look nice. <laughs> they look natural. So um, yeah, I hope this video was helpful. This is kind of why I wanted to do it because I didn't see it which, I mean, I was just hoping for the best, but um, not seeing it on somebody else made it difficult. Um, so here's kind of a side, just so you guys can see what it looks like all around. And like I said, this one kind of pushes them up and makes them look a little bit bigger. They're not as full, um, but it's, it's the bikini doing it. So there you go. Three month update. And you know what I forgot to mention? <laughs> um, if you guys have any questions that I left something out, because I'm kind of just basing it off of what I feel, let me know in the comments below. I'm more than happy to help and answer those questions for you all. So until my next video, bye.